Hi all, welcome to clickshare.com. Today let's look at the scripting function peak. We will also look at the example in the view on how to use peak function. This function returns the field value from a specific field. You can specify the row number you wanted to extract and also the table name. Peak function will fetch the data from ClickView internal database. So let's get started and let's look at the example. Let me quickly jump into SQL Server. And we have dim customer as our table. And I'm interested in this particular field, which is date first purchase. So this is a customer table. And I wanted to calculate or extract the first date, minimum date, or the maximum date or the last purchase date. And we wanted to store these values within variables. So let's solve this problem by using the peak function. Let's get started. So let's jump into click view. Let me minimize this and press control E. So we have our script ready. And let's first look at the syntax for the peak function. So we have equals to As you can see on the screen, there are three parameters in this function. They are field name, row number, table name, where the row must be an integer value, where the first record starts from zero and the second record is one, so on and so forth. And the negative numbers indicate order from the end. So the value minus one means last record read in ClickView internal database. Now let's look at the third parameter, which is the table name. And that's without the ending column. Remember, if no table is mentioned, then ClickView assumes that you're using the current table. Same goes, same goes with the row number. If you don't mention the row number, it will be minus one. That's the default value. So let's get started. So in our situation, we need to first calculate the min date and the max date. So let's use a resident load to calculate this. And then we will use the peak function to extract the these field values to the variables. So let me use load and let's type min and I want to calculate in this particular field those brackets and I'll use the date function to make sure that it's in date format, pd, mm, yy, yy, yy. Okay, good. And this is min date, comma, copy this over. And let's change this to max. Let's change this to max. Let me remove the comma and use the stem. And my table name is customers, colon. So which is customers here and customers here. Okay. So after the resident load, which calculates the min date and the max date, let's now use the peak function. So let v min date equals to peak. And this should be within single quotes. So I'll use maybe and remember I'm not using the table name here and the table will be my resident load customer table and I'll name this table for now as temp table. So if I don't specify a table name, it will be temp table in this case. And let's select max lab let's select the max state here and i wanted to keep my data model clean so i'll drop the end table that's just a helper table so okay so we have everything ready so let's save this and let's reload the document okay so we have our document ready. Let's jump into sheet one. So now let's quickly add 
two text boxes to see the variable values. It was to be number and the uh, this is minimal that was max bar correction. Okay, that's great. So we have two variables now which calculates the minimum value and the maximum value, which is the first order date and the last order date in our case. So we can use these variables for further calculations. Peak function is very, very powerful. There are many ways to use peak function. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.